Welcome to the Coal Report. I'm Lance Corporal Clayton Filipovich. And I'm Lance Corporal John Tucker. An effort to further integrate women into combat occupations is underway with the Ground Combat Element Experimental Task Force. The task force will consist of 460 Marines with one female Marine to every three male Marines. To learn more, click on the link below. We know you'll have a lot of questions, so we'll keep you updated as we get more info. This episode's featured Marine as a pilot, comedian, and a retired Lieutenant Colonel. That's right, we're talking about Rob Riggle. When he's not cracking jokes at the Catalina Wine Mixer, he's out supporting his fellow Marines. I sat down with Mr. Riggle to see how the Marine Corps plays a part in his daily life. When you're a Marine, you, you think you can do anything, and generally you can, um, and that's a good thing. And so I just took that attitude over to the acting and comedy career because uh, that is a brutal career. They tell you flat out, you're no good, it ain't gonna happen. That you just get rejection, 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 and uh, it takes a thick skin, um, and it takes a lot of uh, a lot of fortitude, which uh, Marines have in abundance. So you're in the area to visit with wounded warriors. Now our last episode's featured Marine was also a wounded warrior, Alex Yedis. Uh So can you tell me a little bit exactly why you've come down to to visit with these wounded warriors in Bethesda, Maryland? Well, they're heroes. Um, you know, these guys put it all on the line and they suffered. Uh, they lost limbs, they suffered burns, brain traumas. Um, you know, these are, the, these are the real heroes. These are the ones that are out there and have, have really paid a price for, for our freedom and our way of life. And, uh, and they're fellow Marines and fellow soldiers and, and I wanna be with them. I wanna spend time with them. I wanna hear what they have to say and hopefully encourage them and cheer them up. And, <laughs> Just let them know that, that uh, I care about them. I think there's an old uh, phrase or a catchphrase, probably from the art of war, but it talks about the only thing a warrior has to guard against is that his spirit isn't broken. Um, and, and when I see these uh, double amputees and these, these wounded warriors, uh, it's, it's nice to know that their spirit isn't broken. All right, thank you so much, sir. Thank <laughs> you for sitting down with us. My pleasure. Semper Fi. Exercise Cold Response 2014 recently kicked off in Norway. The purpose of the exercise was to demonstrate how 15,000 troops from 17 nations can effectively respond to a crisis in the region. The second Marine Logistics Group is working side by side with their Norwegian counterparts to ensure Marines have the proper equipment like tents, heaters, and vehicles. Despite the challenges of the environment, the Marines are working around the clock to keep things running smoothly. The Warrior Trials ran smoothly as well, with Wounded Warriors giving it their all to compete in the 2014 Warrior Games. Be sure to check out the official Marine Corps blog to see these amazing Marines and their stories. Remember, you can catch up on everything else going on in the Corps by logging on to our official social media sites. Those links are in our video description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next payday. Right here on the Corps Report.